The FAO National Project Coordinator of the Green Job for Rural Youth Project, Abdullahi Bangura, revealed that the project is a partnership with the Korean International Corporation Agency to protect forests and lands to introduce green jobs to rural youth, highlighting that Sierra Leone is among two other countries where the project is being implemented, the others being Zimbabwe and East Cheno. The training of the 40 participants at the MMCET Godrich campus will last for 21 days, he said. We are implementing this project in five districts. Western area rural, Kono district, Kambia district, Kailan and Moyamba. Um, the targeted uh, participants are purely youth, unemployed youth, and the project is targeting about 200 participants right across the five different locations I've just mentioned. Um, Western area rural being part of the beneficiary district, we are targeting 40 participants, and out of the 40, we are expecting that we have eight university ongoing students or graduates, and the remaining 32 should have at least be young people who can read or write. The Western Area Rural District Agriculture Officer, Lahai Bangura, disclosed that FAO is one of the major implementing partners to the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, has contributed immensely to the agriculture and other sectors in the country. He reiterated that the selection process of the 40 participants was very credible and transparent, urged participants to be serious during the training, and acclaimed FAO for its continued support. So if you have been fortunate, count it pure joy and see it as a pleasure and walk towards it. Remember, 10 of you amongst the 40 have to be awarded with something great and the rest of the 30 will be employed. Is that not so? Are you not happy about it? Are you not happy? So, we must commend FAO for that. We are pleased with that as a ministry. When we look at the trend of things in this country, getting a job is a major problem now. The youth charity for the Western Area Rural District, Ambassador Marie Bangura, said the project is a dream come true that youth unemployment is high in the country, that 200 youth applied, but only 40 youth, 20 male and 20 female, were selected and appeal to them to be serious as a project is a case study. The more reason they must prove themselves and create impact for others to benefit from it and promise to continue working hard to reduce unemployment in the Western Area Rural District. This is an opportunity for you and also it is a case study for you to prove yourself right or wrong. And I hope and believe here that you sit here will always need youth, not only Western Uganda, but all youth but across the country will be proud of you. And also the FAO project, the Ministry of Youth Affairs, and also the District Council and Executive will be proud of you that yes, our colleagues, young people are making impact because this is the impact we want to see. According to Dr. Philip John Kanu, President Julius Madabrio is having sleepless nights to create opportunities for youth that the college technical university status will focus on youth that the college has the best lecturers in the country. The college is the most suitable for the training and acclaim FAO for the opportunity that is coming with a package of $5,000 for 10 lucky participants depending on their project proposal that will be assessed by experts. Dr. Philip John Kanu also encouraged a participant to plant trees and vegetables that have already market and not buy smartphones, commercial bikes and tricycles that will help pollute and in the process destroying the environment. This is why I'm happy and very excited for this training. This training is coming with a package. And you listen, when the Ministry of Agriculture is talking about and also Manan, the chairman was making a statement in the youth council. 
Star News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam reports in.